This is Emmanuel with Biblical Science. This video is really for anybody. This is Chain of Command. This is the second time making this video because, as you know, the devil doesn't want me to do this. The devil attacks me. Sure enough, there comes my mother interrupting me in the middle of this uh, video. Oh, that's not coincidence. Uh, stop putting everyday occurrences coincidences. No, no. She never walked on me before. Well, she did. But just happen so I can while I'm doing this video. My brother walked on me too in this video. I haven't seen him for months. Oh, what do you know? I haven't seen my father for months. He just happened to walk on me while I'm doing this video. What a coincidence. There is no such thing as coincidence. Be from Vendetta. And I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to make a video about movies. I actually believe uh, Christians show watch movies. If you can handle it, I'll, I'll let you know what I mean by handle it. Because there's some Christian doctrine. Are they Christian movies? No, they're demonic. But God is providential. That means he speaks over those movies. His message is in everything. So when B. from Dead, when he says, I don't believe in coincidence. I just believe in illusion of coincidences. There's not a coincidence. Family members, I just happen to walk by while I'm making this video. Unbelievers, unbelieving. Believers, you know I believe, you believe me. <laughs> so this is the second time you're making this. Praise God, it was just 11 minutes. Praise God, it didn't, you know, I didn't finish it done and... Mess it up. I don't care. I have to do this video 50 times. I'm going to do it. So, this is about chain of command. What is chain of command? Chain of command is if you watch my statement of faith, is this world is based on rules, absolute rules. What does absolute mean? No exceptions. God's absolute rules. That's like what it was created. But the matrix, the devil's matrix, took God's absolute rules through evolutionism. There is no God. Man is God. He made it relativism. Relativism. Everything is relative. The The man doesn't have to be the man of the house. You can have, since same-sex marriages, you can have the woman be the man of the house. Kids can tell the wife what to do. The mother what to do. What is he talking about this chain of command? If you do what you want, like Alistair Crowley, the Satan says, do what you want for do what thou wilt, because that is the whole of the law. Do what you want. Do, like T.I. says, do whatever you like. All oh, you hip-hop fans, I used to be possessed by rap, used to listen to the rap, but when I jog, I, it's, I still listen. Is it demonic? Absolutely. That's something I'm trying to get on the Lord to take out, take out. But what do you know? God brings a substitute. I used to love idol worship rap, but you know what God put on my heart to listen classical classical is God don't tell me classical is satanic music that is godly music Johann Sebastian Bach some people say he's the greatest I love Beethoven first of all the old me would probably punch me myself in the face you listen to classical music what is it wrong with you this is some rap this is some hip hop this is some T.I. what is wrong with you cussing at me love classical music that's number one I listen to my, I'm from Cape Verde, I listen to some CV music too, which is demonic and all that, but I don't worship it, I don't, li there's listening to music, and then there's listening to music, okay? We're, I already told you what admire, admiration means, admiration means you agree fully, you agree most of what people say. Worship, here's, here's what worship means, we're talking, remember, I told you I'm going to beat to death etymology, what words mean. Wordplay, wordplay, wordplay. The devil is the king, the master of wordplay. I'm not going to tell you what worship, but you think it means. I'll tell you what it means. What is in your head most of the time you worship? You think about football most of the time? You don't have to watch it. You think about it most of the time? You worship football. You think about your wife for most of the time? You worship your wife. You think about playing video games most of the time? Most of the time, you, you, you worship video games. Whatever you think, most of the time, you worship. Your thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts. Everything in this room began as a thought. So I'm going to have to think it up before it's made. What do you know? I'm a thought. I'm a thought of God. God had to think of me first. Your words are nothing but thoughts. I have to speak it into existence. Thoughts. I'm going to be talking about that with quantum, quantum physics. Out. Uh, we are the... Uh, the co-creators of reality. How this is, a, you know, a simulation. Me speaking is powerful right now. I'm, I'm, I'm creating something right now. I'm not saying I'm God now. Don't get it twisted. But I'm not God, but I'm God-like. I don't hear a lot of Christians saying that. Yeah, I say, hey, evangelist, evangelist says you're God. 
But do you know you're God-like? You're divine. Don't tell me you're not God-like. If you're not God-like, then you're an animal. It's one or the other. If you're not God-like, okay, then you're an animal, then you believe in evolution. I don't care if you're saved or not saved. If you don't think you're God-like, you're not saved. You're God-like. You're a divine being of the Father. You're a divine being. What does that mean? That means you know right from wrong. You choose not to choose good. Right from wrong. You choose not to. They got destroyed for lack of destroying, uh, for lack of knowledge. You got destroyed for because they don't want to retain knowledge of God in their minds. You choose not to believe in God. By default, you believe in God. By default, you know in God. By default, you know everything what I'm talking about. By default, you know. You know that? It's the devil hacking the computer of your mind, saying, when you wired and program this. So, uh, chain of command. Does God believe in chain of command? I think he does because he established it. He created chain of command. A door hardness for a good, to be a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Why did he say soldier? Why not? Why didn't he say servant? Well, you are servant too. Why do you say slave? Yeah, you are slave of Christ. But why do you say soldier? Because maybe because you are. This this is the final army. Does the private tell the general what to do? Does the private tell the lieutenant what to do? The lieutenant can tell the private what to do. The lieutenant tells the private what to do, but the private says, you know what? I'm going to tell me, tell me go clean out the, the mess hall. I don't think General told me to, you know, stand fast. You know, like you heard that term, stand fast. So you kill. I'm not gonna go stand. I'm gonna go and rush. Go ahead and get killed. Any army that is an army obeys the chain of command. If it doesn't, it is no army. The body of Christ is an army. Chain of command. Now, does that mean I'm I'm, I'm more than above than uh, my other brethren in Christ? Absolutely not. If I'm in Christ, I'm the same. In, in essence, with the same as you. God is no respecter of persons. What I mean by that is you have to submit to submit just to submit to that effect. There's other brother that knows more than you, that walks in the walk more than you, that you through the Holy Ghost more than you. That's why you have to be meekful. Meekness. Meekness is a fruit of the spirit. That's not a fruit that we naturally get. What is meekness? To be able to be teach. How many of you I'm teaching you right now? How many of you want to punch me in the face right now? How many of you want to stop this video right now before we already did? Meekness is a fruit of the spirit. Now, can unsaved people have meekness? Absolutely. But if you're saved, you definitely have it. When when someone teaches me something, it's like them giving me money. Because of course, there's no such thing as money. Money's a relative idea. You think it, it's money, but jokes on you when there's no money and you have to take the mark of the beast, and the mark of the beast replaces our economic system. Don't worry, I'll get into that later. But uh, you teach me something. First of all. I'll just add the sermon. I know what you're teaching me is biblical or satanic. If it's biblical, I will thank you. I'll pray for you. Like, it's, you're giving me gold. If you're saved, you have the gift of meekness. That's how you got to teach instruction. Proverbs says, Praise the one that heareth and receiveth instruction, for he is wise. So, is this these videos perfect? Absolutely not. This is, mis this is probably mistakes in the two videos I already made. Mistakes everywhere. Do I want you to comment on me? Absolutely. But I want you to go ahead and blaspheme, say, you, words every other son, that is wrong. That is not correct. That's not biblical. No. As long as you put it through the fire, my words through the fire, which is the Bible. What I mean by put it through the fire, does the Bible consume it? If it's consume it, it's not biblical. If it doesn't consume it, it is biblical. Okay? I want you to put it through fire. When I make a comment, when I make a statement, hey, that's not biblical. You go ahead and comment him, cite from the King James, because that's the only Bible I listen to, not the NIV. I'll get into the video about the Bible, why King James is the only in her word of God. Don't worry about it. I'll get to that. You need to cite the Bible. Cite the Bible, or the Holy Ghost is your lie detector. If you yield it, I'll listen to you even if you don't use the Bible. Hey, you're wrong about this. Blah, 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 blah. I'll pray about it. God, is he right about this? Convict me, Lord. Holy Ghost say, yeah, he's right. He didn't use the Bible, it doesn't matter, he's right. Does that mean I know what everybody is telling the truth? And absolutely not. Do I know the majority? You best believe it. I'm proving it in these videos right here. The sermon is truth from lies. Separate the truth from the fake. Okay? Separate the truth from the fake. Plain said. That's what the spiritual discernment means. You hear that word thrown about. Discern. See what he's saying is true or false fake. Discern. So yeah, there's a chain of command within the body of Christ. Does that mean they're better than me? Like I 
and my era, John Phelps, Chuck Missler, Ken Hoven, Pastor Charles Oz, they're my brothers in Christ. They're God? Are they tremble? What they say is law? Absolutely not. But if they invoke God's word, biblically, you better believe it because they, they wield in the power of the Holy Ghost. The sword of the Spirit, you need to see it as a, a sword like the knights have. It's a weapon. They say, hey, you're wrong. Me, me, you know what I mean? You're, you're wrong about... Uh, let's go with people question that Jesus is not the, the Son of God, that he's, he's not God. I don't know. If you're a believer, you, you already don't believe that, but there's people, unbelievers that believe that. Uh, I'll cite scripture. I am the Father I won. I say, you're wrong about that. That's me using the Spirit. I'm stabbing your demon with that. I'm stabbing you right now. This is spiritual warfare. People hear that me etymology, words. What do I mean by spiritual war? Has to be in, I, there's a world beyond your five senses. That's a fact. I don't make a documentary about the five senses. That's probably next uh, video. Five senses. What you see, think, and hear are just electrical signals in your brain, just like Morpheus said in the Matrix. That goes by why I say everybody should need to watch in the Matrix. Believers and non-believers. If you watch it critically. I watch it like this, like I used to watch football, or I used to watch movies in a drone, a timeline state, critically. If you're a Christian, you listen to me right now, critically. You're watching the way I look, the way I act, you're observing everything. You know, like Terminator, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I used to watch some you see what he sees, like a robot, you know, analysis. A Christian's like that. No, he's not a robot as in programming like all these other drones, automaton, but he analyzes like a computer does. Your brain's a computer. Everything. He analyzes everything. How is this guy a Christian when he has tattoos everywhere? He's not covering himself. How is he a Christian? He has a mohawk. How is he a Christian? Oh, I'm not. I need to shave a little. But he has a full, full beard. He needs not clean shaven. When the Christ says you need to be presentable, he buys the temple of God. How is he a Christian when he has a big belly? This dude's 500 pounds. I want to listen to him. I don't think so. Talking about self-control? I don't think so. Tattoos on his face like game? I don't think so. You you don't you don't think that body language is 80%? What does it say? That's a fact. Look it up. Body language is how you look is 90% communication. I'm talking. I can stay like this and I'm talking to you. I'm still talking to you. That's what I mean by spiritual warfare. Everything you take in and out, whether you know it or not, is warfare. Good or bad, that's dependent if you're saved. Good or bad depends if you use the Holy Ghost. So chain of command is biblical. People don't say to King David, no, you know, King David, I'm not gonna do what you say. I'll do what I want. I can do whatever I want, whatever I like, like T.I. said. I don't do what I want for do what that will, because that's for that's the whole the law. House of Christ. I don't do what I want. I'm not gonna do. Chain of command is biblical. Okay. I'm a son in this house. I live with my parents because when I found out I was in the matrix and I don't really own anything, I got fed up with my job, lost my job, lost my car, lost everything. And it was a happy. No, I'm not going to lie. At that point, I wasn't happy. It was the worst day of my life. But now it is the happiest day of my life because liberation, liberation is from it's being saved in Christ, but liberation is also not being materialistic. God's not stupid. He gives you what you want. It's not a coincidence. See, this camera I have for record is not a coincidence I have this camera. This is my father's. He never uses it. What a coincidence. He just has to have a camera lying around. What a coincidence. He knows computers. He knows how to record. What a, no, 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 no. God put these... God's not stupid. But he knows that I need money. He knows that. I know he's going to give me a job when he sees fit. I'm unemployed right now. He probably thinks I'll worship that job and forget this. Think God's stupid? You think God doesn't know if he doesn't have all, he doesn't know the future? God will give you everything to, to help him. That's why some rich Christians are rich and some are poor. Now, do I believe there's some Christians that have 50 grand and are rich? Absolutely. But do I agree there's a certain level of money that you have that you're definitely not saved or you're backslidden? Yes, I, I believe in backslidden. If I don't believe in back sin, then tell me what is sin unto death. Sin unto death is not for unbelievers. 
Sending unto death are for believers only. That means when you go back to a life of iniquity, the guy, the God gives you to the devil to destroy your body so you can come up to him. So don't tell me a Christian can't backslid. Now, maybe through my semantics, I'm using the devil's language again. I'm using that word. But if you don't like backslid, if it's too offensive for you, too inflammatory a word, uh, choose whatever your word about. Uh, walk in dark. How about this? Walk in darkness. If you sin, you walk in darkness. Say person can walk in darkness fully. Iniquity. Iniquity means your lifestyle. Everybody sins. I'm talking about sinning and don't care and you do it continually. Like I used to watch football this Sunday right here. Can you ask me? I used to worship football. Can you tell me? Anyone tell me why I'm not watching football right now? Who else going on right now? I don't think it's one o'clock. Let's check the time here. Yeah, it's one o'clock football. So can you tell me why I'm not watching football? Why I'm not watching football? Because I know it's trash. I know it's uh, to manipulate you. I know it's to keep you from, the, from God. Now, is it demonic? No. I believe his his one thing, and I offend some of believers. God give you some leniency. God's a dictator, believe it or no, no doubts about it. He's not a ruthless, ruthless dictator. What do I mean by that? I believe he's these things that he lets you do that are in the middle. In the middle of what? That are in the middle of sin and righteousness. When I'm done with this, I'm going to probably watch the Sunday night game, Broncos or something. Because I want my plan is to do these videos until 8 o'clock. Me watching that game, am I glorifying God? No. Is it a sin? Most believers probably say everything on this faith is sin. Anything that's not a faith is sin, but that's them not using their common sense. No. Me watching football is not sin. Let me tell you why. Okay? It's not it's not righteousness either. What I'm telling you, this is the middle points. Don't tell me there's no middle point. There's things that you do that is not righteous, it's not a God, and it's not a sin. This particular moment, like I said, I'm going to be doing videos until then I'm watching some football, you know, later, later night. Because God doesn't want to change you. People think God wants to change you. He wants you to bend it, everything. You're like, no. Just put God centered. Put God first. That's all. Is that so much to ask? Just put Him centered. He gave you life. He gave you life during, before, and after. He gave you life after. That's all. I'm not going to watch it and worship it like I do this. I'm going to watch that Sunday night game like I used to read the Bible, like this. That's how I'm going to watch it. Yeah, I'm going to be entertained, but I'm going to be thinking about what videos to do tomorrow. That's what I'm talking about. God cares about your intent. Okay? okay? So don't sit there, you Christians, you believe because you're legalistic Christians. Anything of faith is sin. Taking... Yeah, the, you can take the Bible literally in a good way and a bad way. That's the bad way. Anything of faith is sin. Well... That's not a faith. Me watching football for those two hours is not a faith. Don't lie to me say it's a faith. Don't lie to me is sin either. It's in the middle. God lets you do some things because he's not a ruthless dictator. You, people think Christians are like this. No, that's being a Catholic. I used to be a Catholic for eight years. Oh, no, I sinned. I'm dead. Doomed. I lost my salvation. If you're like this, you're definitely not safe. God gives you leeway. Is it a sin to go work out? Not well, in a way, you can say I'm glorifying God because you need, you know, keep fit, temple God. But there's people that worship their bodies. I used to be one of them. I used to be fat, now I'm skinny. Look at me now. That that, if you don't think devil can think turn things to righteousness to sin like that, you don't know him. Me giving to the poor. Outwardly, it appears it's. Uh, I'm I know I'm digressing with chain of command, but I'm I'm pointing you that God cares about your intent, which you know He doesn't care about outward results. He cares less. I'm giving to the poor. Thousand dollars. Look at him; he was definitely saved. Because yeah. Bible says, "Remember, the devil is going to use the Bible against you. By any fruits you shall know." Yeah, he's definitely saved. Give a thousand dollars to the poor. Donated. Look at that. But I sinned. Well, what do you mean by sin? Inwardly, I did that act of righteousness of the flesh. God didn't want me to do it at that point. I'm poor right now. I'll be on the streets with my parents. God is on me donate all my thousand dollars to the poor because he knows I'll have no more money left. You see what I'm getting? Where your treasure is is where your heart is. In Luke, book of Luke. That means it's your intent. What's your intent? What's your intent? So when I say I donated a thousand dollars, if I did it out of you can donate to the poor out of lust. But when you think about these evangelical preachers, they donate I mean to the poor. Charities, although mostly charities are false, but 
If you don't think the de devil can make unsaved person do righteous thing, come on now. Why you think he does that? So to make him think he believe he's saved, <laughs> he's fallen God. <laughs> Only my believers probably understand what I'm saying. The believers don't understand. Of course the devil wants you to do good things. Justification to sin. I donate thousand dollars every day, so that gives me the right to do to commit adultery. Good our ways are bad. You ever heard of that? That's what Amish believe. I'll talk about the Amish too. They believe work salvation, you gotta add on to what well, Christ salvation is salvation, you, know, you gotta add on to it. Good good actions outweigh the bad. That's relativism. I probably I don't know what to talk about. I'll probably talk about relatives. But uh yeah, it's all about your intent. Don't donate a million. If the intent was malicious, no, I just did it to prove this to to have sex with this Christian girl. She's saved. I want to prove to her I'm in Christ. That's the real reason I donated. I got money everywhere. I'm rich. My father's a whatever. Mr. Hilton. Yeah, that one's all ten. Yeah. God does not care if you're living under a bridge and you're not even well, at least evangelize people that walk in my He doesn't care if you're homeless. Okay? What is your intent? Uh, I'm, I'm a homeless man. I have nothing. God, you know, there's... First of all, God knows what you can do for him or not. So calm down. I'm a homeless man. I can't evangelize. Well, I can do little acts of charity. I can preach the word of God. But they're going to spit it at you and... Go ahead. I know I'll get a reward. In my heart. When you're saved, you give Christ your heart. See all these pagan pictures of Christ with the heart? It's all about the heart, baby. Intent. The heart is deceivably wicked. Evil. Who can know it? As a man thinks of it in his heart, so shall he will be. It's all about intent. What is the real reason why you donate it? It's to impress a girl? To feel self-righteous? What is your intent? God does not care. God, God is not us. He made us, but He's not of us. There's a big difference. That's why I'm God-like, but I'm not God. God didn't make me. Big difference. Okay? He's outside of our realm of thinking. He doesn't care about results. We're in a results-oriented society. What do I mean by that? Uh, like me, I'm looking for a job, but I didn't actually get a job. I'm applying everywhere, interviewing, I didn't get a job. God, you didn't answer my prayer. Forget you. I, I want results. Did I get a job or not? I want results. Or, or me flip it another way. I don't think God... <sighs> those who don't work don't eat. Man, I'm insane, man. God thinks I'm lazy, lazy, lazy. And I'm sure you guys are thinking it too. It doesn't matter what you think. God can free my heart. No, I know you're not lazy. I know you pray about it. First of all, I know you pray about it every night, fervently. I want work. Send me a job. And I know you're trying your best. You want effort. It's all about effort with God. God does not care about the results. Faith without works is death. I mean, faith, faith without works is dead. True. That is true. That is true. I'm a Christian for, for nine months. Do you think it's going to stay like this? No, eventually I'm going to bore outward manifesting fruit. Here's one of them right now. Here's one fruit manifesting right now. When I, There's two types of fruit. Inward fruit, outward fruit. But they're both really inward. But spiritual fruit and outwardly fruit. They're both the same. Everything begins in the spirit. What do I mean by that is? Uh, spiritual inwardly is self-control. Can you see it outwardly? Yeah. Can you see it outwardly when I'm by myself in this room? Remember, Christian is a Christian where he doesn't behind closed doors. Oh, you saying you don't masturbate. Well, what do you do when no one's looking? God's looking. What's your intent in your heart? Okay. Inwardly and outwardly. So, go back when I say I'm watching football today. Of course, there's people are saying, oh, he's not of God. He's watching football. That's sin. Anyone that talks like that is like Pharisees. That's sin. Now, that's sin. No exception. Anything on faith is sin. And they throw in biblical scripture at you. No. God gives you leeway. Okay? God gives you some leeway. There's, there's, there's things that are not righteous or sin. Football's one. Am I glorifying God for watching football? Is it a sin? For watching football. Not, not in that case, no. Because I'm not. I used to watch football all day. I'll be watching football all day right now. 
Okay? There's football going on right now. I'm missing it. I don't care less. A bunch of men running up and down with the ball. Sports seems, I'm not saying stupid, I just, I feel stupid for worship. You start to realize it, and it hurts. Okay, God gives you some leeway. Uh, uh, jogging is a glorifying God. Yeah, you're exercising temple God, but can it be sin? Or you better believe it. Uh, I was supposed to do a video today. Let me go ahead and jog. Uh, I'm getting fat here. Okay, let me go ahead and jog. You see how easy anything of righteousness can be sin? And, and anything of righteousness can be turned to sin. That's what the devil does. That's his job. With his work salvation religion. Okay? But there's things that are in the middle. If you can't see that, I'm sorry. Okay? If you can't see it, yeah, everything not of faith is sin. Absolutely. But God's not a ruthless dictator. Okay? He loves you. God is love. Other religions, there's no love in there. Quran does not have one word of love in there. I know parts of the Quran. Nothing of love. Telling the truth. Truth hurts. Allah is not a God of love. God is love. And if he is a God of love, he's going to say, okay, he put me first today. He walked, he did. I'm sweating. I didn't eat. I'm planning if I'm not going to eat at 8 o'clock. Like I said, Christian flesh does not rule no more. You're not a master of the flesh doesn't rule over you. You, the Holy Ghost rules over the flesh. So I eat nothing. Probably okay, so I'm not eating. That, that's a inward fruit that I'm projecting outwardly right there. That's my explanation. So I'm not gonna eat. So he's gonna say, yeah, he did. He deserves it. I'm not gonna watch some football. Is he glorifying me? No, he's not glorifying me. But is it sin? No, no. There's in between. There's 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 leeway. Anyone that says. Everything, every hundred percent thing you do in one day is of righteousness or sin is a liar. It has to be something you do, some hobbies that you didn't shake up that God will permit, providing you do not worship it. Hobbies are okay. Should Christians have hobbies? Absolutely. Okay, my hobbies like watching. I like to learn. It's a documentary. Oh, that's of. Is that of God? That is of God. But if I don't edify. Teach people about it. That's a sin. See how righteousness can become sin like that? You can't hoard knowledge. You know something, tell it. Knowledge don't belong to you anyways. It belongs to God. What you know does not belong to you. It belongs to God. Okay? He can make me fall on my head and have amnesia. I forget all everything right now if I choose to hoard it. What I know belongs to God. Human knowledge belongs to the world. Plain and simple. What you know belongs to the world. So, yeah, sorry for digressing about chain of command. I mean, it's biblical. Any Christian that says it's not biblical is basically saying uh, the Godhead does what it wants. Jesus Christ does what I don't want to go to the cross. God. I do what I want. Holy Ghost says, no, Jesus Christ, you can't send me into that believer. I'm staying right here. God becomes three parts. That's definition. That's proof that he wants fellowship. He fellowships with himself, but within rank. He knows Jesus Christ is not going to back talk him. Holy Ghost is not going to back talk Jesus. They're going to do what each other says. Godfather is going to become the ruler of them all. Chain of command. Army is not an army. The gen general uh, does his orders are not follow. Lieutenant does what he wants. The private does what he wants. It's in disarray. The husband lets the wife take control, does what he wants. The child licks, let children run amok. Disarray. Opposite of chain of command is anarchy. Which is order out of chaos, order of chaos, order of chaos. Opposite of chain of command, you have chaos. This world is in chaos. Women preachers. Abortions, uh, uh, abortions, uh, not murders. It's Planned Parenthood. We we structure words, semantics. Women in government. Women every. Women in all positions of power. Uh, when the Bible says the government is for men. We have chaos. Chaos is devil's middle name, buddy. Okay? He he wants to take that chain of command of God and break it into a billion pieces. Okay? The body of Christ is only strong as his weakest link. We all play a part. We're like, I hate to say this, but we're like kind of like Voltron. Remember Voltron? Jesus Christ is the head. All the pieces. All peace plays a certain part. You don't go beyond your... You walk, you don't go below your part. 
you do exactly what God, oh, you can strive. You're supposed to strive. Don't get me wrong. You're supposed to strive and go above. But don't worry, God, you have to know about God's timing. God, for now, he wants me to do this. He maybe doesn't want to create, I want to create church in my own. Maybe he doesn't want to create ministry you go out right now. You're not done yet. Remember, soldier. Soldiers go with a boot camp. If you know anything, only soldiers probably understand what I'm talking about. I'm talking about real soldiers that serve the army. Did you they just send you out to war? You saw American sniper and did he send him out to war? You saw the rigorous training with you. This is my training right here, boot camp. Spiritual training. The the people of the devil. Satan is what I'm talking about because they go through the same thing. They call spiritual exercises. Spiritual exercises. The Jesuits talk about them heavily. Don't worry about it. Every time I'm talking about they I'll tell you who creates them. Okay? You're, you're, you're spiritually disillusioned. You think it's Illuminati. No, 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 no. I'll tell you. I'll give you Illuminati. Don't worry about it. They go through it too. Spiritual exercise. The, the Jesuits, they're all about chain of command. They're the military order. Okay? The white pope don't tell the black pope what to do. The black pope, the only one that tells what the black pope what to do is Satan. Black pope is over everybody. And I know you don't know what I'm talking about. Don't worry about it. Explain it in detail. But chain come in. You what? I'm talking about football. Imagine uh, I'm watching a Sunday night game. Like I said, not sin because I'm not going to be worshiping like this, thinking about it. I'll be watching it like passively. Well, I'll be thinking of what to do with God. My thought is God, 24-7. God, 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 what I want to do, what I want to do. That's how Jesus Christ was. God, God. Oh, did he do other things? There's, there's a part in the Bible where he was tired. He wanted to play, uh, the children wanted to play with him. He was tired. Did he say, forget you, I'm going to meditate and pray? No, he played with the kids. Is he tre teaching scripture to them? There's, there's something that you can say it is righteous. Yeah, it is righteous, glory to God, but... Not really, you can argue, not really what uh, uh, God wants to do, but he permitted it. Jesus Christ was a regular human being like me. Fish. But his thing was God-centered. I like football. I don't love football. There we go with semantics. Like, Don't tell me like and love is the same thing. Semantics. I like. We'll talk about, I probably want to talk about love and thing, because I love, the word Christian love has been butchered. I talk about love. Love is pain and sacrifice. Okay? That's what love, that's all love is. Everything else is out of likeness. Oh, I love you. Let me do this for you. No, no. My mother loves me for the scientific fact where she gave birth to me. You know, childbirth is the most extreme. You know, childbirth is above the, the threshold of the human body. That's this is evidence of God right there. That's the scientific fact. Childbirth is above what a woman can take. It's all your bones breaking at the same time. That's why, I'm going to be sexist here, women, I believe women physically are stronger than men. If it's not, then God will have men give babies. Women physically are, physically are stronger than men. Because childbirth is all the bones breaking. When I say physically strong, they can withstand. I don't know I was constipated. I feel like I was about to die. I was constipated. Now imagine a nine pound baby. Good luck. Oh yeah, I know the woman's a weaker vessel, spiritually. That's why he needs a husband. She's not weaker than physically strength. Don't tell me that. Scientific fact, look it up. Childbirth is above human threshold. Every bone breaking at the same time. So I know my mother loves me because of the pain and the sacrifice. She sacrificed what she wants to do for me. Pain and sacrifice. Jesus Christ pain. That. To me, that's the best. Now, can you have other interpretations of what love is? To me, that's the root core, in my opinion, what love is. Pain and sacrifice. Pain and sacrifice. Christian, pain and sacrifice. I love Christ. Guess what? Pain and sacrifice. Unemployed. I got bills out the yin yang. No car. Pain and sacrifice. Pain is. If you don't like that, go back in the world. Pain and sacrifice. You're supposed to. Matter of fact, you're supposed to enjoy it. James says, enjoy your tribulations because the work is patience. You're supposed to enjoy it. I'm beginning to. I'm not going to lie. Oh, this is fun. This is the life. I'm beginning. I'm getting there, trust me, in my rock with God. So, yeah, with, with chain in command, I mean, with you sports fanatics in football, which is sin because you worship it because you're sports centered. But if God was your first, don't, I'm not going to tell you sin because you like, like, not love to watch football. I'm not going to tell you saying you sin. There's legalist, pharisaical uh, Christians, yeah. No football. 
24-7 action God. No, 24-7 thinking God of the heart. Not 24-7 action. If that's true, then where's your time to sleep? Where's your time to eat? Where's your time to talk? You need to watch some TV. I used to watch TV religiously eight hours. Now, most of you two. I barely watch. So, you guys with your football fans, the chain of command, I mean, Patriots are one of the top teams now. Why do you think that is? See, like I said, I'm going to make it relative, relevant to unbelievers as well as believers. Because truth, in general, is, is, is not relative, it's absolute, because it can be applied to everything. Football. I don't care what you're into. Truth is not relative, but lies are. That's what the devil's master of relativity. Uh, what's true for some is not true for all. No, no, no. What's true for some is true for all of us. You're going to know that when you die. So you guys would chain of command with football. If they don't follow chain of command like with the Patriots, you think, oh, Brady might advise Belichick what to do, but you think he orders them what to do? You think the players on the lower uh, bottom of the team, equipment manager tells Brady what to do? Don't A team functions, the team is just like the body of Christ. The team knows, the play, each person of a team knows what to do and obeys without question. Brady knows what to do. He obeys without question. He might question it, but you still obey. And the question is constructive. Not like, okay, can we do this? Okay. And Belichick, it's not Belichick's team. It's Bob Kraft's team. Chain of command. But, uh, you know, Bob Kraft, I don't like. What you going direct? See, I'm going to take the Patriots and move to L.A. Chain of command. Everybody has chain of command. You can, Like I said, just be very I'm not talking about God because I don't need to because he's everywhere. He's providence. His providence is everywhere. You obey God's laws. You obey God even if you're not, if you're not obeying God. That's the funny thing. This is, if you obey chain of command, okay, I obey chain of command. He's right. This certain ranks, you need to obey certain people. You can't, everybody can't just do what I want. You need a family. So you can be Satanist. You can be unbelievable. You obey chain of command. Guess what? That's a biblical maxim. What does that mean? God's providence. But I don't believe in God. It's fine. You don't believe a wife should tell a husband what to do. You don't believe kids should run amok and do whatever they want. You don't believe a football team that the coach can do whatever he wants. Players can do hey, we'll do whatever he wants. We can do whatever we want. Let's have a party. Government, uh, the president can let the house represent just run the country. They'll do what they want. Uh, in the Catholic Church, uh, the cardinals, no, Pope, you do what I say. Or the demons or devils. No, devil, you do it. No. Chain of command. Devil knows firmly what I'm talking about, chain of command. There's there's a his proof when I say uh everything can edify, even demonic. I'm about to quote quote a rap verse. Uh oh, let's turn it on right now. He lives the rap, he's quoting rap verses. No, I'm proving God's provident in everything. Truth is absolute in everything. Uh he used to say some dipset, LRL. He used to say I eat the truth, but feed you lies. Hmm. That sound that does sound like a worldly statement. That sounds like something the devil would say. You think it's by coincidence, God? Let me hear that. You don't think God talks to you in your rap, your fornication? If God, you don't think God talks to you about you when you do crack? You're seriously on crack. God talks to you in whatever you do. He's providential. If any Christian does not believe in the promise of God, I don't think he's a Christian. I don't think he's saved. The promise of God means his truth is absolute. He's ringing in your head. Saves not in everything you do. He rings to me in hip-hop. He rang into me hip-hop. I eat the truth, but feed you lies. That's the devil. Of course, I'm the devil. I'm the Satan. Of course, I don't change commands everything. I'm eating that truth. I'm feeding you lies, though. Do whatever you want. <laughs> That's how the devil works. It's not by coincidence that I know that. God wanted me to know that. Oh, you don't read the Bible? Let me send rap to you and talk to the... Not talk like channel, but influence him what to say. Oh, it's sin. Of course it's sin. But uh, you have to believe in God's providence when he says Genesis. You meant it into evil, but I meant it to good. What was done to Jesus Christ was evil. Satanic. People thinking uh, God did permit what happened to evil, but... They fully, willfully wanted to do it. They wanted to kill him. Don't make no mistake. No, God controlled them. No. They willfully wanted to do it. And it was an evil act. As you meant it for evil, 
I'll use this sacrifice to free everybody. As, as you meant it for evil, you meant it to good. As far as in Christ, we see the... See, here's your, out, your outlook changes. You're unsaved. You see the evil in everything. If you're saved, you see the good in, in everything, especially evil. You see, you see the good, like, just say you was a rap. I mean, I eat the truth and feed you lies. That's the devil. Of course I know Jesus Christ, Son of God. Remember, I'm talking like I'm saying, of course I know. I'm not going to tell you that. It's a cult. You're not the need to know business. You don't need to know. Okay? I eat the, I eat the truth. I'm going to feed you the crap, the excrement that comes out. That's what the devil does in the world. Remember, he's a father of lies. He saw the truth from God. Remember, he knows the Bible better than you because he's been around before the Bible. He eats the truth. When he goes to the bathroom, excrement. The world's full of crap. I want to say that other word, but that's what this world is. The world's in filth. It's the fire. Of course, I know it's the Son of God. Of course, I know what Emmanuel's saying is true. <laughs> I, don't know that. I know most people's not going to believe him. <laughs> I know most people don't believe him. Programmed you too well not to believe you. I programmed them. I'm designed. I'm, I'm the devil talking to me. Uh, I, I programmed this world, baby. This world is of me. So your father's the devil, and the lust of the father you do. And one of the lusts is loving lies, baby. It's my hope that most people will take what I do as edifying. Like I said, chew, eat the meat, spit out the bones. That's what Ken always says. Some things that may appear as heresy that I didn't mean do on purpose, yeah. Don't tell me there's no substance from this. Don't tell me there's no meat. Eat the meat, spit out the bones. Or you choke on the bone. It's like people with these evangelical, evangelical priests here. They don't spit out the bone. They take everything. They choke on the bone and die spiritually and go down. There's something good things this preacher saw. Joel saying there's some good things he saw. Like I saw him once he did. You can't do nothing without God. Is that fake? Repentance means uh, you can't. See, the devil... Rat poison is 98, 99% food. A little bit poison. Me being a Christian knows to take the food and leave the poison out. But these evangelical preachers are real good one. They give you 99% proof. Give this 1% poison. Let me give you an example. Joel Osteen. A lot of truths. Brilliant man. These people, these preachers are not stupid. They're not talking like you. They don't be able to still talk about this garbage. They're intelligent. Eloquent. They dress nice. They have to look the part. Okay? You have to have discernment. There's people on the way to Christ that are fooled by these people. But me pick on Joel Osteen. Sorry to pick. But I said I'll be naming names. I'm not generalizing nothing. Christians just generalize. If you generalize, if you generalize something, you just keep saying the same thing. You don't name. is either God didn't want you to know. Which is fine. God didn't want you to know. Or you're afraid. Because some people are afraid of naming names. Christians should absent from the body's presence of the Lord. A Christian wants death. He doesn't want to kill himself. He wants death. The many times that he has a urine, if you want to kill yourself when you're saved, that's a good sign. You're saved, not you're not. After doing your Christian walk, there's a guy named Chris Sala, like his ministry too. He he said this with delivering. When you're saved, the devil doesn't leave you know he attacks you like never before because he hates saved people more than unsaved. He's unsaved. I'm the devil. I'm just unsaved. Why well, don't I need to bother with him? Put a demon. He likes football. Put a demon in a football hand. No, this guy says, I'm going to come out of everything I got. Everything. Guns blazing. I don't know how many times I wanted to die. You kidding me? Trials of fire. Your faith. You know how diamonds are made. Pressure. It, does your faith, does pressure bust pipes? Does pressure make diamonds? Which one are you? Make that diamond. Pressure. Comes with stream. Go Look up a TV. Like I said, God's will is providing every way. If you look up diamonds right now, you're... You learn the providence of God. Learn, learn how diamonds are made. Do you think they pull it out of thin air? Material that God come brings? Go learn how diamonds are made. Tense pressure. Faith is forged by fire. Fire from the devil, but ultimately fire from God, because God permits the devil to do this to test you, to form. How is the sword made? Well, you those angels, you form it, dip in the the lava. You see those night movies. With steel. Trials of fire. God is a consuming fire. Hebrews. I don't want to, I know 
like I said, I want to appeal to the sect of you, but rest assured, it's primarily to you, brethren. I don't spit Bible verses like crazy. It's for y'all. Don't get this twisted. If it is, I apologize. This message is primarily to y'all. Just bear with me. This is my third video. Primarily is going to be for the brethren. But it's really for everyone. Because Jesus Christ died for everyone. Specifically for his elects, for his, his Jewish people. But it's for everyone. Everyone can partake. Okay? So, yeah. I passed 30 minutes, but uh, chain of command is biblical, it's providential. End of discussion. It's, a, it's how society is built. Without chain of command, you have no society. Without chain of command, you have no family. Without chain of command, you have no football team. Without chain of command, you have no country. Chain of command, chain of command, chain of command, chain of command, chain of command. The biblical chain of command, not the chain of command of what the devil tells you what it is. Chain of command, chain of command, chain of command. Okay? Now, I know some of you Christians will say, he looks like he's Dean Pess, he's repeating these words. He's repeating don't don't get into that. Now, Chris can be demonized, but he can't be demon possessed. If you're being, being demon possessed, you're, demon possession is taken over. If, you're, if I'm demon possessed, I'm not saved because light and darkness can't exist at the same time. I got the Holy Ghost in me. So I apologize if I seem like, you know, I'm demonized, I'm moving. I'm calm. Demon possessed is this, you know. You know. It's the, the believers know I'm not demon possessed or oppressed. Unbelievers, nah, you might even you believers, my friend. That's fine because the devil wants the devil will use anything, believers or not believers, to make you not to listen to what I'm saying. It's you. Everything, nothing's fair game. Nothing. Jesus Christ, now nah, this guy's a demon. This guy's a heretic. He's miscreant in the Bible. He's repeating chain of command 50 times. This guy's possessed, man. Remember, the Holy Ghost is your, your lie detector. The Holy Ghost is your common sense. If you're saved, you know I'm telling you the truth. You're unsaved, you know I'm not. There's some people in the middle. Holy Ghost, like, if I was watching, I made a video myself, and I'm someone else, I'm watching this. Yeah, this guy seems eccentric. He's going, I've seen a deal. But, oh, no, I think he's a uh, Doing the will of God. Like these ministries I see. Some things I don't understand, because remember, the devil loves dissension. The devil likes to pick anything you don't like a Christian guy saying and inflate that. As long as fundamentally you are in sync with him, you fellowship. And I already told you what fundamentally, fundamentally I believe the Godhead with Jesus Christ. Those are non debatable, 100%. Are there things I'm spitting? I probably spit things already right now. Believe or doesn't believe. That's fine. Does that mean discard? No. Eat the meat, spit out the bones. There's some, don't lie to me, this is no substance to what I say. There's some substance to what I'm saying. Do not lie. Okay? Okay? Are there errors in here? Fine. Okay. Do not say there's nothing you can learn from this. It is, you are deluded. 100% deluded. So, probably make another one about, uh, probably etymology, study words, because I need to drive that home. Because I'm speaking to you in words. I don't understand why these, I'm not, I'm not trying to slight them, downplay these, these these Christian means, but I'm speaking you in words. I'm using words. I'm not telepathically, you know, you're not reading. I'm not going to just reading a book. I got documentaries like that. I don't talk. Life's Illusion in, in Mind Games in YouTube. There's no one viewed by, here's my point about intent. I have two documentaries out on YouTube. Mind Games and Life's Illusion. No one viewed them. Those views of me, check to see if you have some view, are, am I going to be down on that? Sure. But what was my intent to do that? What was my intent to say, look what I want? At first I didn't charge no one to see it was all free. Look what I'm doing, I'm smart, I'm making dark rings. Now my intent was to serve God, but no one viewed it. Is that God's way of saying stop this? No. That's God's way test and see if you give up. <laughs> I'm laughing to see how I know how God works. I'm not laughing at God. I'm laughing to see how stupid I was. God tests you. Like he's testing me right now. He tests you, he'll test you, he'll test you. Let the devil test you. So yeah, those documentaries, I'm not talking. Most of them is verifiable, scientific, life's an illusion, mind games, one and two is on YouTube. No one viewed them. Do I care? No. It's by my intent. What was my intent behind those? And believe me, at that point of Christian I did not want to do it. 
you you know how discouraged it's okay for believers to be discouraged. You know how discouraged I was. Like I said, to do it's one of those four hours, it took me two, three weeks. You know how discouraged it is to make a video and no one watches it. I don't care about my outward results because God does not care about the outward results. Faith without works is death. Sure. You're true. You're absolutely right. That is a worker though. It took effort to make that. Who cares if no one sees it? God knows everyone that passed up on my darkness and didn't see it, he'll let them have it. You know what I mean by letting them have it, right? Torment you. Hey, don't don't give me this. When you meet see Christ, Christ will be like, don't give me this, you don't. Like with this video I make right now. Don't give me this like you didn't know. Christ is not here to know. You have no excuse for Romans 120. They are without excuse. Don't give me this. You don't excuse. You could have watched this guy's video. You could have watched that guy's video. Oh, I don't like I don't think he's building side. Fine. You could have watched this video. My disciples are everywhere. Do not give me, do not give me the the crap. That uh I don't want to hear it. You have an excuse. I know there's a Christian right now saying with the hands, I'm a sorcerer. Again, you know, <laughs> I'm not explaining myself. With the truth, this is what I say about the truth. There's a Christians try to defend the truth. The truth, first of all, the truth is Jesus Christ. But I'm talking about truth in general. The truth is like a lion. The devil's a warring lion. Remember, the devil likes to be Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the lion, Judah. Jesus is the lion, too. The, you need to see truth in general, truth for anything, as a lion. You set it out there and let the lion defend itself. Do you need to defend? Do you need to? Do you see guys? Does the lion look like he's a king of the jungle for a reason? Does he need to be defended? Unless he's wounded, but again, say I see Julia nature shows. That's that's my point with TV right there. Our nature shows sin. That's TV. To me, those are glorifying God. You're seeing is I love nature shows. That I can say I love. I watch nature shows like this. Now I don't worship the animals. Wow, look at God's creation. Look at the animals. Look at all the stuff is do. How can people believe in illusion? I reckon. Uh, those must be sin, because people say don't watch TV. Well, last time I checked, uh, nature shows on TV. Last time I checked. That's glorifying God. If you're watching it the way it should be. But if you're watching, yeah, I want a tiger there. I want a pet. You're worshiping idly? No. Okay? If you watch it of faith, and God knows the reason why I watch nature, because I used to hate nature shows. You're glorifying it. I might watch it today. It's a good thing to watch. Don't tell me it's not an edification things on TV. Anyone say there's no edification thing edification things on TV is saying God's not provident. Sorry. You may think I'm a heretic, but you say he's not providential. His providence his truth is absolute. I know I'm beyond 30 years, but I want to stress this. His truth is absolute. Okay? Absolute to everything you do. Playing video games. Got Assassin's Creed. What do you think that's about? Just with order. You don't think God talks to you? <laughs> I know everything about video games, but I used to be a video game fanatic. I have one about video games. Sorry about it. You put requests, and I'll try to see. But let me get, I'm trying to get 35 core videos done. Not taking requests, but after that, I'll probably take requests. But let me take 35 because I want to just get this thing on my chest. It's a burden. Remember, the Holy Ghost yearns and moans. He's a person in you. Okay, I'm doing it. Not like. Don't want to do it. Okay, go ahead. I understand. You feel guilt. Couldn't sleep yesterday. Couldn't sleep. Or is don't torment and demon? No. I know the difference. Don't tell me. I don't know. I know the difference. The burden of, uh, hey man, you're not doing, you're not serving me, man. Christ is talking you. Because remember, you have the Holy Ghost in you. Remember, they're all equal. They're all in you. God Father's in you. Christ, Christ in you. Not down on the cross. For you, man. You're not. You're not doing your what? Just do these videos here. Okay? So, chain of command is important. It's providential. Probably the next video I'll probably talk is... Uh, next video I'll probably talk about is etymology. You know, study of words. Lord bless. I speak. I come in peace, but when I speak, it's meant for war. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthen me. Peace.